hello hello welcome everyone welcome to my youtube channel welcome to Pui designs today and um, today i have a very nice tutorial for you um how to add like how to create a mock-up for a skinny tumbler yeah a skinny tumbler for sublimation like the the skinny tumbler that they do and they do sublimation on how to create a like a mock-up for your website for your customers before you make the actual product these mock-ups you can um you can uh, list them on your website and uh, clients will check if they want them and they can purchase it and then you can create it for them just like just like it is okay uh, welcome um before we continue please subscribe to my channel my youtube channel and click on the notification bell to receive uh, notifications to be alerted from when i post my next video so that you can know thank you all so much for subscribing and thank you for watching my videos um let's continue let's uh let's continue um in this uh in this tutorial i'm gonna i'm gonna teach you something about clipping like clipping um kind of like clip mask but here we call it clip uh like clipping and then i'm gonna show you how we're gonna clip excuse me how we're gonna clip the design into the mock-up okay for instance, um, let me get this. I'm going to duplicate it to show you. For instance, if I want to create a star, I'm going to create a star, yes. And I want to cut this, this, this design out on this star. I'm going to place the star over the design. Let me put it on rise, you see? Place the design. And I'm going to select both, select both of them yeah both are selected and i will right click come on right click and i will i will um click on his set clip you see what i did and this this you you can't save it like file save as no you have to you have to export it through um through to here come on open up through, you need to export it through here and right, before you export it it should be it should uh, fit in here if it's too big make it small let me go back go here and go back here okay click here if it's too big make it small you know if you see this happen in the cusp node um uncheck here right here and then it will disappear okay you make it small and then you fit it in here okay and then you will transport it export it sorry <laughs> export png file except it will be a png and it will be with a transparent background and always select page and if you want to you can up you can increase the dpi from here um put 300 and then um you decide in which folder of your computer you will save your, your file that you have and um after like user your name and then uh, i save mine in pictures I add the pictures um forward slash and then i i write the name of my file right here don't never erase the point the dot png never erase that it should always be there so i'm gonna write let's see star rrr, with two r's you see star point png it will go in my pictures file so and i will export it you see i will export it to there and um if we go in my my picture section i will write here star okay come on star you see it here and you see how it is 
it, it's blue like that because it has a transparent background okay let's go back okay you, you see I, I showed you how how to clip how I clip the star and I, if, if I want to release it I just right click again and then I release the clip you see and it comes out again yeah okay that's what we're going to do with this part of the of the mock-up of the I'm going to this is a SVG so I'm going to make it smaller I'm going to ungroup it ungroup okay we are only going to use this part okay now I'm going to let me see let me check the size okay then seven eight three put it here ten point seven eight three okay i think it's good like this mm, let me see what else to do i'm going to um i'm going to dim the opacity i will give it 50. right here you see the o means opacity you keep your uh image selected and you come in here I'm go it's 100 percent, so i'm gonna put it 50. come on then yeah you see and then i'm going to um, bring it over the design i'm gonna size it the measurement okay this is here you see right here mm -hmm. and this one look i see the let me let me color this make it red it doesn't matter what color it is okay only to see it and then i'm gonna pull this down okay and then i'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that it can fit on it just uh, like you're imagining the actual cup okay now i have this i'm going to uh, after i select it i'll go to object um lower to bottom because i want it to the back lower to bottom you see that okay and after we do that let's um, um okay yeah lower to bottom and i will keep it selected i'll go to shift i hold shift and i'll select this part too and then we're gonna clip it too just like we clip the star and then we right click and then we set clip you see that okay we have some things to do in here this was uh, 50 50 opacity i'm going to make it 200 again Bam, you know that and this is the shadow this is a part of the um a part of the a part of the design tool i'm going to click on this and go to um object lower to bottom the same i'll do with the with a straw mm, selected the object lower to bottom and now i'm going to select the whole thing i'm going to select the whole thing and i'm going to group it you can group it by the right clicking and you see down here group okay if you wish i have one i'm gonna put this one here okay but uh, i need uh, one more of the sample so i'm going to duplicate it right click to and then duplicate okay duplicate, uh, bring it over here i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to wait one more time right click on group yep you see on group it first and then i'm going to select this one right click and i'm going to release the clip yeah and now when i release the clip i'll go back to it i'll click on it and i will raise it to the top raise to top and when i raise it to the top i'm gonna dim the opacity again because i want to be, be able to see where i where i place it on the 
under this line I'm gonna move it like this yeah like a side of it and then I'm gonna lower it to the bottom again lower it to the bottom um, go to object lower to bottom because this part that we want um, a color of we, 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 we we're always going to put it on top it should always be on top it's just like a cookie cutter like you take the cookie cutter and you press it to the dough and this is the dough and this is the cookie cutter okay I select this one hold shift and select this two and then we go you know and then we right click and then we set the clip again you see it come back and then we go back to the opacity you see it's 50 as long as it's more than 100 it will jump to 100 so this 50 here i put a zero and it's back to 100 okay and then we're going to come on man here you are. okay then we're going to send this to the back it's the shadow of the cup um i'll select it i'll go to object lower to bottom yeah i'll go to the straw tool selected object lower to button okay and i'm gonna select all these and i'll group it group. okay now we have two cups okay okay this is in the back i'll put this one here and this one I'll duplicate it by pressing control no sorry by right click duplicate and I'll put this one on this side and I want it to show you know to show this this show to the left and this one I want this to show to the right so I'm going to press not just H H you see that and now I press H and then I have all those three together you see is how we make the mock-up and now we're going to select all and make them smaller so that they can fit here and voila you have your mock-ups hmm. and now we're going to group them okay now you have your your three mock-ups and then we're going to export them just like we exported but if we export them they will come with a black background and we don't want that we want it to have a white background so look what i'm going to do I'm going to the um, try, um rectangle creator i'm going to create a a rectangle over them and you know we lower things to the bottom keep it selected go to object lower to bottom and then after we lower it to the bottom we're going to make it white you see that okay and now we're going to transport export them why transport export file export you have always have to select page because the page size is down here and you want all the images that's that's bit with within the borders and these are within the borders so we're going to select page okay and then we're going to change the name give it another name uh, you can name it whatever you want but i'm going to name it like this three tumblr mockups yep and i'm going to transport it mm -hmm transport 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 and then i'm going to check to look for it in my system three tumblr let me see come on damn you see it here it's right here and it has a white background and it has a white background you see that let me do something else really quick um you're not here we are here for instance if this star was my watermark for instance if this star was my watermark uh, and then i'm going to 
them the opacity of my watermark. Let me get my own logo. Let me see what is it here. Where am I? Come on, here. Open this one. Oh, yes, right here. My own logo. My cute logo. I think I'm gonna change it into something else, but for now, I like my cute logo. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, here you have her. I'm going to oh, right click. I'm going to copy her. Copy. Bye. Bye. I hope I copied you. Come on, do something. Okay, and I'm going to paste it over here. Paste. Bam. Okay. And then I'm going to select it. I'm gonna select it. Come on, select you, and I'm gonna make her small, smaller. Okay, and I'm going to dim the opacity. I'm gonna put it on 50. Bam, I'll make her smaller, and I'm going to place. Don't go, I'm going to place her. Oh, come on. Oh. I'm going to place her right here okay right here you know to show that this picture is mine so that others don't take it okay mm -hmm. that's what i would do and then i'm going to select page again because i want everything on a page and i'm going to export it again and they will ask me you have already have it do you want to replace it yes and it will export it once again one more time and I'll go in my file and I refresh it right here and it will come with a you see it came with the the watermark okay I hope I was of good help and uh and that uh, you could follow with me what I did this was easy and very very easy okay um this um this template is available on my website i will i will have the link in the description and you can get it from there and after you get it you can come back and watch the video again and then you can try it for yourself thank you all so much for watching thank you for your support and thank you for all the comments and if you have uh if you have trouble with something in inkscape um, um, concerning creating SVG and drawing and the the good stuff, the easy stuff of Inkscape, don't hesitate to leave me a comment with uh, leave me a question of what you know, want to know about. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I post a new tutorial about Inkscape. Thank you all so much. Bye.